we'll start recording it and then I'll reshare my screen. Okay. So I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I know we're almost at the end here. I know it's getting really hot and I'm sure you guys are ready to be done, but we're getting there. So um, just to go over what we're gonna do for today, um, we'll review the types of stem changing verbs. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. We'll review the types of stem changing verbs, the vocabulary that we've been going over. Um, we'll review the types and the stem changing verbs that we went over last week. Uh, we didn't get all the way through them. So we're, and then uh, like I have here, we'll go over the types of stem changing verbs that we didn't get to. Um, we'll review the instructions for the homework because there's no, I don't have a new assignment up for Monday. The one that I posted on like this past Monday is like you had a week to do it. So you have until Monday to get it done. So we're not gonna go over any homework today. And, um, oh. okay, I got, I just got your message though. Okay, give me one second. Um, I got your message about the final, the, did you mean like the final project? That's okay. Um, I, I mean, is that like a normal thing that, um, that like you guys do in your other classes? Like, I wasn't really sure I can, I mean, I can come up with something. I know that this is like, um, okay, yeah. Um, okay, so I mean, as of right now, I don't really have one planned. But I mean, if I would do something, it would just be like, like, I don't, I don't know, I got to think about something. So I'll definitely let you know on that. But um, I was just, um, gonna like keep doing what I'm doing but um I didn't know like that was the thing that they did so that's fine but um I'll try and think of something if not um we'll just keep doing what we're doing um I know that you guys would probably prefer if there wasn't one but um yeah I'll see if that's like a requirement if it's not we probably won't do anything but I'll talk to Dr. Dave about it and see what he says if it's not like a requirement we probably won't do one but we'll see um, I'll message him after class today. So, um, yeah, yeah, oh no, I get that completely when you said we don't have to do one, yeah. Trust me, if I never had to do final projects, I would be okay with that too. But let me just make sure with Dr. Dave that it's not like a requirement. And then um, if it's not, we probably won't do anything. If not, I'll try to do something fun, so we'll see. But I'll, I'll let you know by next class on that one. So, um, so yeah, let me see. Okay, great. So I'll see what I can do about that. If I have to do it, I'll come up with something. If not, we probably won't do anything. So uh, like I said, we'll, and I know that a couple people are confused on the homework. So we'll go over uh, the homework instructions and we can start conjugating our vocabulary words and we're gonna do practice because this stuff takes practice. So um, just a little bit of the review of the vocabulary. Um, and these are all irregular verbs. We have um, querer is to want, soñar is to dream, repetir is to repeat, jugar is to play, dormir is to sleep, llover is to rain, inquirir is to inquire, decir is to say or to tell, Pay dear is to ask for. I didn't get that. Oh gosh. Uh, volar is to fly. Recordar is to, to remember. Remover is to remove. Poder is to be able to. Mostrar is to show. And morir is to die. Does anybody have, a, have any questions on our vocab? This is nothing new. We went over this uh, before. But does anybody have any questions? Are we okay? Okay. 
All right, so just to go over the types of stem changing verbs, we have those that have an E <clears throat> and it changes to an IE. We have those that have an O that ends in, that uh, changes to a UE. We have those that have an E that changes to an I. We have those that have an I that goes to an IE. And we have those that have a U that goes to a UE. And um, just a hint on like stem changing verbs is you can see that these are all vowels, all vowels. So usually uh, stem changing verbs always have to do with vowels. And um, just to let's remember what I call the boot. And uh, with our conjugation charts, we have this. And remember in the nosotros form, the we form, the stem never changes. So here I have, and that's why we call it the boot because the ones that change look like a boot. The yo form changes, the tu form changes, el, e, ya, usted form changes, the nosotros form does not change. And the ellos and the ustedes form changes. So remember this, and this is like always, this is always how it is. So does anybody have any questions on that or anything? Okay, great. So uh, we did go over these, but let's go over them again. Um, we have the E to EI verbs. And like I said, this is the most common type of stem changing verb. And uh, remember the stem changes and the endings stay the same. So if you need help with the endings, I do have the chart up there and they are in a couple of the PowerPoints. So our vocabulary words that are affected by this type of change are querer. And there are like plenty of others. I just chose this one for an example. So I have the conjugation here. So just like, um, I'm actually gonna escape, there you go. And then as you can see, the, um, the subjects are the same like they always are. And you can see, I'll actually highlight the change for you. It was, we take the ER off and it was Q-U-E-R as our stem, right? But the E changes to an I-E. So, and you see that it does that in all of the forms, right? I'm gonna highlight all of these so that makes sense. And then, so just the, the E changes to an EI. Oh, to an, wait, what am I doing? To an, wait, no. Oh, I see what I did. It's IE. Okay. And then you see how they all, all of these, the E changes to an IE. See that? And then remember, you see in the, the Nosotros form, we have the endings, the Amos, but we didn't change the stem. It's still the exact same. And that's how they're all going to be. So this means I want, yo quiero, tú quieres is you want, el quiere is he wants, ella quiere is she wants, usted quiere is you formal want, nosotros queremos is we want, ellos or ellas quieren, they want, or ustedes quieren, you guys want. Does that make sense to everybody? And you see how like I changed it, like the, the stem changes, but the endings are the same. You see, we have the O, the E S, the E, the E M O S, and the E N. Does that make sense to everybody? We kind of okay with that. Okay. So uh, our next type of verb is the O to U E verbs, and for for ver verbs in this group, the O in the last syllable changes to a U E. And then there are pretty many verbs in our vocabulary that are affected by this change. So we have recordar, remover, soñar, dormir, llover, volar, poder, mostrar, and morir. And then the definitions of those are in the vocabulary list. So um, here is the conjugation of recordar, which is a verb to remember. And remember the O changes to a UE. So right here, this is our verb. So remember, no matter what, we always take the ending off. So the AR is gone, we got rid of it. 
So we have R E C O R D as our stem, right? But remember, the O changes to a U E. So right here we have it. Right? And you can see that it changes in all of these forms. Let me highlight these. And then you can see in the nosotros form, the O stays in O. It doesn't change to a UE. So the nosotros form, the stem always stays the same. The change doesn't happen. So we have yo recuerdo is I remember. Tu recuerdas is you remember. El recuerda is he remembers. Ella recuerda is she remembers. Usted recuerda is you formal remember. Nosotros recordamos. You see how that one doesn't change. That stays the same. Ellos recuerdan and ustedes recuerdan. They remember, you guys remember. Does anybody have a question on this? On this one anyway? So verbs with an E that change to an I. So in these verbs, the E in the last syllable changes to an I. So, and this part is important to remember because sometimes in these verbs, there's like more than one E. So you have to remember it's like the last one. So verbs in our vocabulary with this change are repetir, pedir, and decir. So right here, we have the conjugation of repetir. So remember, just like we do with any other verb, we're going to take the IR ending off to get rid of it. So our, um, so our stem is R-E-P-E-T, right? That's what we have. And you see there's two E's, so you're like, oh no, which one do I change? It's always the last one. So here we have it. We have yo repito. So you see the first E stays the same. And the, uh, the E changed to an I. And then for the second one, we have tu repites, which means you repeat. And you see that E, the second E changed to an I. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. We have el, ella, usted repite. He repeats, she repeats. You formal repeat, and you see that one changes. And then we have nosotros repetimos, and you see that E stays in E because it's a nosotros form, so that does not change. So that's we repeat. And we have ellos repiten, right? And we have ustedes repiten, they repeat you guys repeat and you see how they all change except for the no socialist form. Does that make sense to everybody? Are we kind of okay with this? We're gonna get lots of more practice with this, but. So that is where we left off. Um, that's where we left off with last, uh, last class. So everything that we do from like now on is going to be, um, like new, it's gonna be different. It's not different, but it's new. We didn't go over it before. So um, the I to IE verbs, and uh, they're only the textbook that I've been using. Um, it says that there are only two common verbs that have this change. There are more, but the only common ones are uh, adquirir and inquirir. So you see they're very similar. So adquirir is to inquire. And the reason the, to acquire, so the only reason why I included in Kirir is to show you how these verbs work. Um, I know that you're probably not going to use this verb too often, but I just wanted to give you an example to show you how they work. So right here we have it. The I, so like, like we always do, we're going to take the IR ending off, right? And we're going to be left with I-N-Q-U-I-R. That's going to be our stem. I'll actually highlight that in red. That's going to be our stem, right? 
and then this is gone. So right here we have it. The I, and remember, it's always the last last syllable, always. Uh, you can see the I in the beginning stays the same, right? So here we have it. Oh. You have yo in quiero. And I know it's very similar to querer, but it's an I that changes this time. So you so yo in quiero means I inquire. Tu inquieres, you inquire. We have el inquiere, he inquires. Ella inquiere, she inquires. Usted inquiere, you formal inquire. And we have nosotros inquirimos. You see how the I stays the same. It doesn't change to an IE, it stays the same. And that's because it's in the nosotros form. And then at the end of our chart, we have ellos inquieren, they inquire, and ustedes, you guys, inquieren. So you see how they all change except for the one. Does that make sense to everybody? Are we kind of okay with this? I know this is a lot. And then the last type of stem changing verb, I know there's a lot, um, is U to UE. Um, and I know like I, the textbook I have says that there's only one commonly used verb in this category. Um, and it's actually a pretty common verb, um, jugar. And that is the verb, which means to play. So remember, we're gonna, here we go. We have our stem, right? That's what we're gonna focus on. The AR is our ending, so that comes off when we conjugate it, we get rid of it. So J-U-G is our stem. And remember that U changes to a U-E. So we have this right here. Yo juego is I play. Tu juegas, you play. El, ella, usted juega. He plays, she plays, or you formal play. And then we have nosotros jugamos. See that stem change stays. Eh, that stem stays the same, right? You're not changing that ever in the nosotros form. And we have ellos juegan and ustedes juegan, they play or you guys play, okay? Does anybody have questions on that? Everybody's kind of okay. I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna highlight the stem in all of these for you so this makes more sense. And not remember, not all verbs are stem changing verbs. We did go over some regular verbs before this. Oh. Okay, so I have here more conjugation and practice. And so we can actually work on the homework together for a little bit now. And then So feel free to tell me what you think. Let me know if you need help, anything like that, let me know. So, um, so this is just like the first page of a packet. So it has here, escribe las formas de los verbos apropiadas. So that literally means just write the correct form of the verbs. So you have the type of stem changers up here. So this first one is E to IE. The second category is O to U E. And then uh, the third category is E to I E. Okay, so you're just going to follow that. And then for these, these are the, ver the words, the verbs right here that you're going to use for each category. Right. 
So, and they tell you what they mean, so you don't have to worry about that. So uh, for this first one, it wants you to say, she thinks, right? So she thinks. So first thing you're going to do is look for the word that means think. Ah, right here, pensar, right? And it says the E changes to an IE. So let me bring up a document here and I'll show you how to do this. We're just going to take a plain one. So we have like the first one here. Is she thinks, right? So the first thing we're going to do is find the word that means to think, because that's what we have to know. It's pensar, right? And remember, it's an E to IE verb, right? So what you're going to do is you can go to the E to IE chart here, right here. And you can see how I did this one, the E to IE. So, and then you see pensar, so remember, you're going to take the ending off just like you always do. So your stem is going to be P-E-N-S. So, and then you're going to do the Aya form, Aya, which is she, remember? And then remember, it's E to I-E. So you look at your stem and you're like, oh, which one changes? Oh, the E. So the E goes to an I-E. So you would be stuck with that. P-I-E-N-S, that's your stem. So then you just had to, add, you just have to add on the correct, um, the correct ending for AR verbs. And let me show you where that's at. If you do need the endings, if you don't know them yet, that's okay. Because I do have a whole chart of them on here. Here it is. Oh wait, that is not it, whoops. There it is. Yep, right here. So right here, and you're gonna use these same endings. The only thing that changes is the stem. So it's gonna be piensa, she, ella, piensa, right? Ella. Answer. Is this making a little bit more sense? We'll do another one together. So the next one is we extend. Right? So we got to know the verb for extend, which they give it to you. It is extender. And that, as it tells you, is also an E to IE verb, right? So then you have to take your stem, right? That's your stem, because we, all we did was take the ER off and we need to know the word for we, right? So we can go to our chart here and you see, oh, we is no subgross. So you would just put, and then remember the stem. Oh, well, well, we actually have to change it. The E to IE. Remember, it's always the last one. So it's X, E, N, right? Remember, you're changing the stem. So your final answer would be nosotros, X, T, N, and then it's an ER verb. X, oh, wait, no, it actually doesn't change. Remember, nosotros doesn't change. So it would be extendemos. Right? The nosotros form doesn't change, all of these do. So does this kind of make sense? So we'll do another one. For three, we have they recommend. So we have to know the word for recommend first. So let me just write this down. So and they give you the word for recommend, recommendar, right? 
right? And that is an E to IE verb, they tell you that. Now you need to get the stem, so you just take the A and off. Right? Oh. Right? And then we need to know the word for they. And if you need that, it's right here. They, ellos or ellas, either one. It doesn't matter. Ellos. Oh, and the E changes to an IE. Remember, it's not the first one. It's always the last one. Yep. So here you go. And then you have to add the ending on, right? And it's the same endings as the regular verbs. What's the ending for ellos for an AR verb? On. They. Uh -huh. So it's recomiendan. Ellos recomiendan. Does that make sense? I can actually share this with you guys too if you have a question. Let me. Mm -hmm. Let's see. <clears throat> okay. Does anybody have like any questions on this or anything? Like, is everybody kind of okay with this now? Like, is it making more sense? If not, we can do more together. Let's do, let's do two more together. So for the fourth one, it's he begins. That's what they want us to, to say. So let's find the word for begin. And it's all up here. Empezar. Right? And it's an E to I E verb. Right? So we got to take the stem. There you go. And remember, it's he. So it's el, right? And then the E changes to an IE. Right? And then just the regular endings for AR verbs. So the same ones that we've been using. So the answer is L and PSA. Does this make sense to everybody? Like, do you see what I'm doing with this? Let's do some from the second section. So this is O to U E verbs. Oh yeah, you want me to go back up in the document? And I'm actually gonna share this with you guys. Like I'll put it on Google Classroom. So you have it and you have some examples of these. Deja, did you still need this? Oh, hold on. Okay, great. So let's do one, let's do a couple from the second section. And it's the same concept. So we have he counts. And I'll just actually make that number 11 because that's what it says. So we're gonna, he counts. So we're gonna do the exact same thing. So we need the verb for counts. Contar, there we go. All right, and it tells you what the change is. The O to U E. got to take the stem. There we go. We took the ending off. And we need he. So remember that's ed. That's the same. And we have to change the stem, right? Because the O changes to a UE like it tells us. Oh. Right? 
And then we just add the ending for an AR verb because you see contar is an AR verb. So it's el cuenta. Okay. And that means he counts. Let's do another one. We have they ask. So that's what we're going to, that's what they want us to say. So we need the verb for ask. Rogar, that's a different one than I would use, but that's okay. I remember that's also an O-G-U-E because they tell us that. So we have to take the stem. Yep, because we get rid of the A-R, there's our stem. And we need the verb for they, which is ellos or ellas, right? Doesn't matter which one. And then, oh, the O changes to a U-E in the stem. So there's our stem. And all we have to do yet is add the ending. The ending for AR verbs in the AOS form is on, right? AOS regan. Does this make sense? So another example, we'll just do one more from this category. We have, I approve. That's what they want us to say. So let's find the word for approve, which they give us. Approbar. Remember, that's also an O to UE verb. So we need the stem. So there it is. We all we did was take the ending off, right? And I is yo, right? Yo. And then the O changes to a UE. So there's what we're going to do. And all we have to do is add the ending. And it, it, approbar is an AR verb. Right? So here we are. AR verbs in the yo form is O. So we just add the O as an ending. Is this kind of making sense? Okay. So let's try, let's do a couple from the last section. So these are also E to I E verbs. Okay. And you can see that these are all IR verbs. So you're going to use the ending for IR verbs. So for 21, we have he tells lies or he lies, like same thing. He tells lies or he lies, same thing. So what's our verb for to lie, to tell lies? Mentir, right? And it tells us right here, that the E changes to an IE. It tells you what it changes to. Oh. Right? So we have to take our stem, which there it is. Took the IR off. And we need the word for he, which is L, right? We used that before. So we have L. Oh, and that E changes to an IE. Right? And then our finished product with the ending is el, me, and, oh. And remember, we're using our ER endings. Or I mean, our IR endings, because they're all IR verbs. So E, right? El miente, which means he lies. Is everybody kind of all right with this? I know that this is a lot, trust me. And then 22, let's just do one more. We have you, plural, invest. So to explain that, you singular is two. Two, the two form. You plural is always ustedes, because you guys, you're talking to more than one person and referring to them as, as like you. So you guys, you plural is ustedes, right? So for 21, we have you, plural, oh, 
invest. So that's what it wants you to say. You guys invest. So let's find the word for invest, which is invertir. And it tells you that's an E to IE change. So we need the stem. Yep. So we just took the IR off. Now we need the word for you plural, which if we remember is ustedes, right? Like you guys. Now remember that E changes to an I, E. Right? So then all we have to do is add on the correct endings to our change stem. And that's the IR verbs. So we have it here. And you guys, ustedes, E-N ending. So you invest, like you guys invest, is ustedes invierten. That kind of makes sense. Let me actually share this document with you right now. And I'll just put this in as a material. I'll just put it in as an example. So I'll add in what I just did. So you guys have those examples. And then we'll just put that under stem changing verbs, okay? So does anybody have like any questions or anything on like this? And you have all of these examples here. Okay, so does this make sense? Is everybody like somewhat okay with this? I know that this is a lot and we're gonna do like way more practice with this. I know it's, I know it's a lot. So, so, um, okay. So does everybody have any more questions or anything like that? Are we like, Kind of okay. And then we went on the home, we went over the homework for this. So, uh, so just some plans for next class. We'll review the vocabulary and the stem changing verbs. We'll go over like in detail all of the all of the answers for the homework that was assigned. And like I said, we'll do more practice. I have here possibly another topic, but I don't think we're gonna do that right now. I think that we're just gonna focus on the stem changing verbs. So I'll stop recording.